What's up everybody, it's Ace I need to start actually doing this in some of my videos, but don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Stay tuned for more content on the channel and welcome to my Sonic review. The gameplay in the background of the video is this gameplay I've recorded from time to time. I didn't record my full let's play into the game. I might do it just because like, if I want to restart or something, but without further ado, let's get into the review. Without a doubt, this is one of the best Sonic games in the wild. I did miss out on a few earlier releases such as Boom and Forces as they didn't appeal to me as Frontiers. What really caught my attention on Frontiers was his choice in music. Seeing Sonic running full force into danger with the 1OK Rock playing in the background was pure awesome. Frontiers has a lot going on for it. With the gameplay being open world and with added the traditional Sonic gameplay with the cyberspace worlds, levels will keep you exploring for more. Really feels like a full anime including the boss fights and I'm all for it. Without giving too much a detail, I want to explain some of the story of Frontiers as what the series of Sonic can do moving on from this game. If any future Sonic games can be played like this, I'm all for it. The main figure of the story is the involvement of the Ancients, who look very similar to the character Chaos. If you're familiar with him from the other Sonic franchise, the Ancients had flew from their planet to Earth as they were running away from a being known as the End. Using the power of the Chaos Emeralds, they managed to find a new home on Earth and create the world of the cyberspace to uphold their memories. There is way more to the Ancients that meets the eye, as their past has connections to the Emeralds, Knuckles, Chaos, and more. For now, I want to go into what is their purpose of the present with Sonic and their friends. Chaos Emeralds have been gathering up on the Starfall Islands as, they are, as if they are drawn to them. Sonic and friends go to investigate what's going on, then get sucked into a wormhole into cyberspace. None but Sonic have been able to escape cyberspace as he is now looking for a way to save his friends. Eggman is looking for the Skyfall Islands, but not for the Emeralds. He wanted to get the data of cyberspace for the weapons and knowledge of the agents. However, he too falls into cyberspace. He creates an AI who is now holding Sonic friends in cyberspace and Eggman to keep themselves from to keep themselves safe from the end. Throughout the game, the AI named Sage is a very interesting character as her motives will become more confusing as stopping Sonic from defeating the bosses works in her favor while making Sonic stronger as he will need as he needs to be to defeat the, the Titans. It's all I would say for the story as I really enjoy researching the information about it to give insight to what players wanted to check out for Frontiers. Uh, since the gameplay is more open world, Sonic gets to explore the layout of each island, discovering its secrets along the way you have to your platformer sections to move around each island getting from place to place. There are gates Sonic will have to complete to get vault keys as well. The vault keys are needed to unlock the Chaos Emeralds as Sonic needs them to defeat the Titans, the bosses of the game. The format is pretty simple. Each stage or island has a Titan you must defeat. The only way to defeat the Titans is become stronger, is become Super Sonic and collect the Chaos Emeralds to do so. By going through gates, to get you get keys to unlock them. Uh, collect all seven Chaos Emeralds and you're ready to do some crazy fun. There are Chaos Emeralds you have to get by doing side stories for your friends, which brings into a somewhat tedious part as collecting tokens to unlock conversations can be rough as they are scattered all across the map. You help your friends help the Cocos, I believe that's what they're called, and you get like one Chaos Emerald per that mission. Pretty simple, the missions can be escorting them for to a spot, saving them from an enemy, or solving puzzles to get them out of something. On top of collecting the Emerald, Sonic has a variety of new moves added in combat with my personal favorite part of the game. These moves will get powered up to crazy heights when you're in Super Sonic mode. For example, you can do a variety of combos by chaining them in battle which makes for some crazy fun and visuals. You don't have to do any specific input variations for them, to which I really like. Just press square a couple times and hold a button such as X or a circle or where again and Sonic can chain attacks. When fighting bosses, some people just spam the attack button at all, like pure hype. But don't forget your other moves as well. They can be more damaging and more flashier to like the fight itself. Overall, I say running around the island, doing the cyberspace missions and combat makes the game very good and very easy to pick up. The story of Frontiers can be a bit confusing as the way it told with cutscenes and the way you unlock some of the side conversations will Sometimes feel out of order, at least to me. And some levels and parts of the stages, some of the game colors mixed through me off as 
it would be hard going going like forward and stuff with the background kind of blending into each other. It's kind of hard. <laughs> it was kind of hard to tell what was going on at first, but for exploring to find the tokens, they are everywhere. But the calls to unlock some of the conversations as part of the side missions were very high, a little too high for my <laughs> for my taste. But I didn't find too many things I disliked about Frontiers. I know a few others will very much disagree, but I really enjoyed the game. My last coming thoughts from Frontiers. Uh, Sonic Frontiers were or was a very really welcome addition to the series as this has become one of my favorite Sonic games. Growing up I played a lot of Sonic games and I still enjoy them to this day. Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic and the Secret Rings were always among my favorites. Sonic Unleashed was fire as the warehouse mechanic was super fun. With Frontiers we got added combat mechanics, an open world to explore, history of the ancients, very good music. The Frontier soundtrack alone should give them an award for something that has a lot of people really seem to enjoy it. If you had, well, if I had to give Sonic Frontiers a score, I'll say it's a solid 8 out of 10. I hope more Sonic games are like this or like Frontiers and continue to be good moving forward into the next Sonic game into the franchise. That's all for my review though. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, don't feel free to, well, feel free to share the video, comment, and I love to hear your guys' opinions on Sonic Frontiers. I really enjoyed it. I think it's very good for the holiday season if you're thinking about picking up for Christmas and everything. And you should definitely put it on your list. If you're a Sonic fan, I say definitely pick up Frontiers. But that's all for now. Ace Day is signing out.